What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today we're going to be taking it to the Pal World Realm with the must catch pals that I think you should have for doing some fighting, for breeding, some sleepers for you guys as well as just a self-sustaining base with that productivity as well so we are going to get into it with going over these pals that i think everybody should have so first off we're going to talk about the sustainability of having like one single farm for breeding and having that farming of lettuce tomato whatever crops you want this will entail a couple different pals. First off, we got Veridash. This is a grass type pal that you can go catch in a couple different places as well as breed it out, but it has two important traits on it with planting as well as gathering on it in two and three in those categories. So it does both of those jobs on the base. On the same side of that, if you go with Lilene, kind of the same thing, has three and two for those two different stats with planting and gathering. So they both kind of work off of each other, able to plant once it's grown. They are able to harvest it as well. So they work very, very well together. You can throw out two of each on a base. Now, when we move on to the watering aspect of it, you can really throw out any watering pal. But if you want to optimize it, I would definitely throw out Jormantide with that it has tier four with watering absolutely the best for doing any of your watering tests think it's a pretty easy thing to grab as well plus if we're cooking on that base for anything we can use the german tide ignis but again you can really use any water or fire pals if you want for those but definitely if you want to optimize use the german tides now for cooling and electric on this base this is definitely the easiest to use just a tier one pal that has either of those so you could go with like a frost sickle or something like the a little electric hedgehog but if you want to optimize i would go with cryo links for cooling and orzerk for that electric definitely some of the best pals to have for a self-sustaining farming base now on the flip side of that instead of farming and breeding we got like productivity as well as mining definitely the four that i choose for these works is anubis that guy has easily the best in the handy skill can absolutely crank out any of the pal spheres armor ammo that you have to create super super fast absolutely the best for that next off we got the, the wampos these are able to have that tier four i think in the uh uh, transporting so carrying around all of those materials the ore coal wood from those bases definitely the best for the transporting aspect plus it'll also farm the wood now productivity wise orzerk is definitely the best at tier four for that generating electricity since once you get into the end game when you're using some of those refined smelters or any of the productivity lines weapon lines they all use electricity and he absolutely cranks it out plus he does have some transport so when he's done electrifying he can help carry around some of those uh bricks whatever it may be the last for that productivity that is easy to get as well is digtos this thing got the recent buff in the patch 1.5.0 and 1.5.1 where it absolutely just destroys the mining aspect of this game for early game you could go with something like astagon for that late game but definitely harder to get digtos is super easy and if you have a couple of them on your base, these will absolutely, absolutely carry a productivity base by itself with just having these four different pals here. Now I'm going to cover actual combat pals that I like in a future video because there's just too many to go over inside of this. But for the breeding aspect of this and when you do get to the combat point, there are a couple different pals you want. First off, there are four different legendary pals that you can go out and catch. These will allow you to breed down that legendary trait, which is very, very good. Gives you plus 20 to attack, plus 20 to defense, as well as plus 15 for movement speed. So it is a 
very good trait to be able to breed down on it to your pals so those come from year four in jetragon it is the fastest flying you got frost stallion which is one of the best just in general for cooling as well as battle and then you got necromis as well as paladus up here in the very far north they all drop with or i should say when you catch them you can get that legendary trade on them which then you can breed those into some of your other pals which help a lot for that combat aspect on the same side of that basically we have a, a couple different pals also which are some of the legendaries that come with those passive skills that give a 20 percent increase to our certain attack types so paladus on top of having that legendary also has celestial emperor which gives a 20 percent increase to neutral attack damage so those are good pals to have if you're breeding down into neutral pals like gorgorot something like that next on the list is another legendary which is that jetragon has divine dragon 20 percent increase to those dragon attacks so this is also good for that breeding all of these will be next off we have anubis which is a pretty easy one to catch over in the desert with earth emperor 20 percent increase to those ground damage attacks next off we have blast moot level 49 over in the fire realm has that flame emperor plus 20 percent to fire attacks when we move on we have a another legendary with frost stallion throwing us that ice emperor gives us that 20 percent increase to ice damage attacks so again breeding all of these down is so so good now next off we have a lord of the underworld from necromis which gives us that plus 20 percent to dark attacks we got lord of a lightning which is on that orzerk which is the electric attacks plus 20 percent lord of the sea comes from jormin tide which we talked about both orzerk and jormin tide earlier plus 20 percent to that water attack and finally we got lilene which we also talked about earlier spirit emperor that is an increase to 20% on that grass attack damage so all of these definitely go out and catch they come from a various various different positions on the map some of them are alpha pals as you can see here or some of them also come from our three different wildlife refuges which you do go over there even now on a flying pal before it wasn't a criminal activity but now it is so you will get that attacked by those guards but you don't have to worry about it go over to some of these islands catch some of those pals like orzerk lilene they all come from some of these uh wildlife refuges and then the other ones are just those alpha pals around the map last but not least i got some sleepers for you just a couple that i think are pretty pretty solid first off we got fenlope this has a very very quick ground mount and once you get it as a normal pal has some pretty good attack damage on it as well especially if you breed something down like that celestial emperor which gives Gives you that plus 20 percent attack damage on it same thing for that kitsune a very high damage attack pal for early game for sure even into late game has pretty good attack damage is a fire pal so this is a little easier to get than some of the other ones that we talked about if you're going into that battle but like i said i'll go over a full teal list in a next video on top of that we do have another pal that is pretty pretty nice to have in your party which is sweepa because if you have a bunch of those sweeze inside of your party you get some damage increase on that sweepa so it is a cool little aspect of the game that you can add those pals to your party now these two right here both have very good partner skills with their gatling gun as well as the grenade launcher so we're talking about grisbolt as well as mossanda they have good partner skills that you can use to shoot and destroy pals if you're going into some of those alpha pal battles going into the tower battles fighting off some of the guards so those are my sleepers at least for the pal world realm a little bit earlier but definitely the other ones will help you max out your base possibilities with breeding farming as well as that mining and productivity so thank you guys again for watching truly appreciate you guys i'll catch you guys in the next one peace